Hello everybody, happy Thursday. I'm so glad that you could join me today as I'm going to be sharing how to step up your crafting with some of Stampin' Up's amazing card making kits. Uh, my name is Laurie DeGroote and I'm from Laurita Marie Crafts and I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator here in Calgary, Alberta. And I love to come live every Thursday and I'm um, at 12 p.m. Mountain Time so I can share fun tips, techniques, and inspiration with you to hopefully get you interested in crafting or inspire your own creativity and get you using your crafting supplies. If you're ever looking for more information or how to reach me, you can always check out my website, which is loritamariecrafts.ca. And thank you for hanging out with me. And if you're tuning in later and catching the replay, um, I always appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me. Um, I hope that you guys are having a good week and I can't believe that we are almost in the middle of August already. I know that um, there's all these funny things going around, you know, social media where it's like, oh, it's August, you know, all of a sudden, oh, back to school, happy Halloween, it's Christmas, you know, and it happens so fast. <laughs> so um, August is usually a time to kind of like slowly start thinking about the fall and start easing into maybe some routines. I know we've been enjoying a fun and relaxing summer and, um, I actually don't mind kind of the warm weather we've been having here in Calgary. It's been so nice and sunny, um, which I love. And um, But I, I am just starting to get to that place where I'm craving a little bit of routine, and I think my kids are too. <laughs> so um, school will come before we know it. So um, like I said earlier, we are going to be focusing on card kits today. And the reason I wanted to share about Sampin' Up's card kits is that um, they're so cute and so fun and they're always changing and there's something for everybody in the kits collection. But what I wanna do today is I'm not gonna be making the kits like exactly as they're designed because there's already lots of information out there on that. What I want to do today is I'm going to be stepping them up and show you how card making is really easy and all about layers and how you can just take some simple ideas and just kind of take the next step and add a layer and add a layer, make a few changes here and there, and you have a totally different card that you've created on your own. Um, before we get to that, I do want to mention that we're still in the middle of celebration. Um, has anybody taken advantage of celebration? I hope you have. There have been some amazing um, free products that you can earn, whether you spend 60 or $120. And um, a couple things have sold out that were super popular, um, but Stampin' Up! has put together a list of, um, a whole new list of products that are now available through Celebration. So don't fret, um, there's still lots of fun things that you can earn for free. Um, most of the little brochure is still available, just two items are sold out, the soft sea foam and pool party note cards and the tree lot dies, which were really cute, I know they went fast. Um, but yeah, now there's a whole variety of things that are available. So check out, you can go to stampinup.ca and see what's available for celebration right now. Um, there are some cute embossing folders and paper and dies and all sorts of great things. Um, so if you ever need help placing an order, please feel free to contact me and I would love to give you a hand. Um, or you can shop online, I'm an online store too. So I think that's all the chit chat. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Thanks for joining me, those of you who are here live with me. So I'm going to point the camera down and get ready for the crafting bit here. So bear with me a second. There we go. There is my lovely crafting surface. Awesome. Okay, I am so excited about this kit and I can't wait to show you what I've done with it. Um, so the kit's collection, you're not going to find it in a catalog, but you're going to find it on the online store at stampinup.ca. And um, there is a huge variety already that they've been building up over the last couple of years that's been available. Um, but there is always something new. And so that's what's kind of exciting is that they're always releasing new kits. And so I just wanted to take a quick second to remind you or let you know if you hadn't heard you probably haven't heard <laughs> is that there is a new um christmas kit out okay so this is um well, we're not using the christmas one today i don't have it yet <laughs> sorry i'm trying to get my camera i feel like it's slouching down i think it's gonna stay there um so the christmas kit i think it's called cozy and bright and it's kind of like 
beautiful dark green with like, you know, oranges and star of anise and all those things that, you know, you put in a pot to make, you know, that beautiful smelling aroma in your kitchen at Christmas time. <laughs> it's such a cute set. So I encourage you to go online and check it out. The Christmas ones go so fast um, when they're brand new. So last year's kits are still around and they're so fun. There's a tag one and a card one, but this one, if you want it, I wouldn't hesitate to get it on the first round of it. So what is a kit? Maybe you're asking, what am I talking about? Well, this cute little box, this is what your little kit comes in and it comes with everything you need. You don't need to own any other um, crafting supplies besides a pair of scissors. So let's, I'll show you the basics of what it comes with and then we'll get crafting. So you get full color instructions that are um, so awesome. Let me just open this up for you. So it's how this set is called, I should explain it. It's called a million things kit and you make nine cards, three of three designs. And it tells you all the pieces that go with what card. It gives you some basic instructions and I'll just tell you more about this paper in a second. But inside you always get, and I've already opened mine because I've been using it, but you get a block and a unique stamp set that you can't get anywhere else. It only comes in this kit. And so, you know, you don't have any crafting supplies. Don't worry, it comes with what you need and it comes with an ink spot for you, a stampin' spot. And so this is all you need to get crafting. You don't need to own anything else. It comes with the adhesives that you need and cute little gems. And then of course you've got all your kits. So you get the card bases. You always get envelopes and the envelopes oops, are always lovely. They're always lined. <laughs> so they're, you get pretty envelopes, not just regular envelopes. And then you get all these lovely die cut pieces that you're gonna see me use today and um, everything that you need to put the cards together. So let's just move some things out of the way here. And so what's really awesome is that you can also go online. There's a QR code on the back. It'll take you, you just scan this with your phone camera app, um, or you can go to the website itself, and it's just on YouTube, and it's a video. And Sarah, the CEO of Sampin' Up, who is marvelous, she'll take you through step-by-step step how to make this card. And if you've never stamped before, she is going to also explain some basic stamping tips and it's gonna be so easy. And you know, she doesn't use any confusing stamping jargon if you've never done this before. <laughs> and um, she makes it really easy for you to follow. And so um, what I wanna to do today is kind of share um, how to take the cards as is, and now we're going to step them up a bit. So sometimes when I get a kit, there's also something called Paper Pumpkin, which is a monthly subscription kit, which is a unique surprise kit that comes to your door every month <clears throat> for as long as you subscribe. Um, so those are similar, um, except that you can't know really ahead of time what it's going to be. That's kind of the fun of it. Um, so what I usually do is I'll make each card exactly as is when I first get it. So I'll make one of this card, one of this card, one of this card, exactly as the instructions say. And then sometimes I just make the whole kit exactly as is if I love it. But then sometimes I like to play around and step it up a bit. So that's what I'm going to do today to share some tips on how you can easily do that. So the first thing that you can do is here it says coordinating stamping up colors and it has a list of all the stamping up colors that are used in this kit. So if you already have some crafting supplies, you can go, okay, well, maybe I'll grab this color and start adding it in. So for this card, we're gonna use this base and it comes with a few die cut pieces. So it comes with this super cute heart and these just get punched out. So I've got three whole cards for you to make today. So stick around. I think you're gonna love how they all turn out. And then you've got this fun kind of leafy piece here. And then a banner piece for us to stamp on. So here is our banner piece. So you've got all those pieces all ready to go. And so how I'm gonna step this up is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my card base up, okay? I'm gonna add another layer. So crumb cake is one of the colors in the kit. And um, this is crumb cake. 
Did I just say that already? <laughs> I was reading a comment and then I got distracted. Everyone loves Paper Pumpkin. Yes, Paper Pumpkin is super fun. Um, so I've got a card base here that is just cut a sheet of cardstock cut in half at five and a half and then scored in half at four and a quarter. And then I'm gonna take this lovely card base that I've got in my kit, which has this amazing kind of like shiny embossed um, pattern on it. And I'm going to cut it up and use it on my card. So don't be scandalized. Um, I'm going to cut it first four inches on the shiny side. This is the side that I want. And I'm gonna save this, so don't get rid of the other piece, of course. And now I'm gonna cut it to five and a quarter. And I'm also gonna keep this piece, keep all the pieces. You never know how you're going to start designing your cards. <laughs> and then I've got my card base, and then I'm going to add this layer on top. So you can see I've just, you know, created a little bit of contrast, added another color in there. And I'm just gonna use my stamp and seal, which is a tape adhesive. You can also use liquid glue if you're into glue, or the little glue dots that come in your kit. And I'm just gonna put that on there. And so the original design, we've got these cute, um, the flower heart there, and I forgot to punch out all the flowers, so we need the flowers. My paper's all stuck together. So we need three hearts, three flowers. Why do I keep messing up my words? These two, pale papaya, and then these ones here. So I'm gonna add one more element. This color here is called Blushing Bride, and I thought it would be fun to add a banner piece um, behind, just to add a little dimension. So there's a few ways you can go about this. So I've cut one out here in Blushing Bride. I've got some stampin' supplies, so I've used my stylish shapes dies, and I've cut out a banner. Another thing you can do is just cut a one inch strip of cardstock, and then there's a banner punch, so you don't have a die cutting machine. You can do, buy a punch and you just put it in here and it'll create, push it all the way to the end and then you've got a banner piece. Or let's say you don't have a punch, then you just grab a pair of scissors and you snip up the middle and then you cut to meet the middle. And then you have a little banner tag there. So I'm gonna use this stitched one, and obviously it's too short, so a simple trick is you just snip it in half. And now it's gonna stick out behind my heart like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these pieces on. And I just kinda of want them kinda of sticking out the middle, so you can kinda of look there. and like that. And then I'm gonna use um, this piece that came with it. And instead of going like this, I'm actually gonna put it on an angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my seal on the back of that. And then lay that on like so. And then I'm gonna grab the dimensionals that came with my little kit. These ones are mini ones, so they're smaller sized. And I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of all my little flowers and then we're going to put them on the heart and then that just adds some dimension to your card so if you ever want to just add another layer to your card and you think oh my card just needs a little something i highly recommend stamp and dimensionals it is the easiest way to create this extra look on your card and so now I've got to try, oh dear. You have to kind of match the shape. <laughs> I should have practiced. There we go. Match the shape. Is that it? No. There we go. This is so cute. So I hadn't made a whole one yet. The thing about a kit is that you have limited supplies, so I couldn't make all my usual samples ahead of time. So you get to see me crafting here in real life, and I'm putting all my flowers on the wrong direction, but it's all good. 
And then the three little blue flowers. I'm curious if anyone's got this kit. Has anyone purchased this kit before? It's so beautiful. I love all the embossed details on the cards. Okay, so because that's puffy, we're just going to put adhesive on the back. No more dimensionals because while dimensionals are my favorite, if you go crazy, you'll have world's thickest card and it won't stick into your envelope, which is no good. I think I forgot a step. I did. What if you want to add twine? Here's my other favorite basic linen thread. If you want a simple thing to add to your card, you could add a linen thread. It is only $7 for 15 yards. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. I've just cut about 17 inches, looped it behind my heart to match where the leaves are going. And then I'm gonna put my heart on top. And then the last thing, of course, is our sentiment. So we're going to use the stamp set. And I'm gonna use the one that says a million thanks. And I'm going to use the block that comes with. So sometimes you have to go on the diagonal, but every stamp that you get in these kits will fit on the block. And then you get this cute little ink pad and you open it with your scissors. kind of just tap 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 and this is this color is called evening evergreen which is so pretty nice rich green and usually I do a nice a sample so on a scrap piece of paper just to make sure it stamps good I figure out how to stamp it you can always practice stamping to get yourself comfortable with how it feels to stamp it And now we're gonna stamp it on our banner. Good thing about this banner is that you've got two sides. So if the first side you don't like, you can always stamp again. It's clear, those stamp sets are always photopolymer so you can see through. And then I'm just gonna put a little seal on here and we're gonna Stick that right in the middle to match the other banner shape that I did there. Now, if you are new and you don't have any way to clean your stamps, you can use a baby wipe, you can just use a damp cloth, you can use a paper towel that is um, wet. That's what I did for a long time. <laughs> I recommend though, if you can, get the Simply chamois. It doesn't, it comes purple. Mine's well used, but they last forever. And you just get it wet. And it's gonna perfectly clean your stamp every time. So here's our first card. And then we're gonna need some of those little gems too, right? So it comes with these cute little black gems and you can, you know, put it on the heart maybe where the leaves are matched up with the little dots that are already on there. That would look cute too. I usually like to do my dots in an odd number, three or five, something like that. So there's the first one. And now let's get to the second one. Okay, so the second card, let's gotta get all my stuff together. So now we're gonna grab that Blushing Bride card, okay? So now we've got that pink card, and I'm gonna, again, cut it up, and then use a different card base. So a good place to start is a white card base, and this is just thick basic white, and I'm gonna make two white cards, so I'm gonna cut it in half at five and a half, and then cut each one, not cut, score each one, just helps me fold it in half when you score it, right? And this is at four and a quarter. I'll save that one for my next card. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut this piece up again. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm gonna cut it at four inches, the embossed pretty side. I'm gonna save this for later. And then cut it at five and a quarter. Now, remember the first card, the lovely evening evergreen one. Now I'm gonna use this piece. So I'm going to just cut an eighth of an inch off. So I'm gonna cut it to four and one eighth to five and three eighths. 
And so when you cut just an eighth of an inch, and I've cut the other one a quarter of an inch smaller than a normal card size, I've created a mat just with the card pieces that came in the kit. So let's go ahead and do that. And then if you've got some Stampin' Up! supplies already, one of the most awesome things about Stampin' Up!, which is one of the reasons I joined way back in the day, was the color coordination. You, you can go in your stash, you can grab something that doesn't even necessarily have to be new. It could be something you've had for a long time. But you can go look up the color. Hey, do I have anything in this particular color? And you know it's going to match your card. There's no more guessing game or no more like, oh, that color is close but not quite. Um, you are always going to be able to find something that matches perfect. So I went in my stash. I'm like, okay, evening evergreen, blushing bride, what do I have? Well, I have this super cute evening evergreen ribbon. And so I am going to cut a 16 inch piece here as a way to add another layer onto my card. And then I'm just going to fold it in thirds, which is like my favorite thing to do. If you have watched me make cards before, I kind of do it all the time like this. I like the way um, that it looks with kind of the loop behind. And then this piece you're going to, or this card comes with this cute little label piece. And then, actually I forgot to show you, it comes with this piece. And this is where I got the ribbon idea. So it comes with this piece, which looks like a ribbon. That's the whole idea of it. So then I thought, I'll just add real ribbon as a way to step it up. And so we've got this lovely um, die cut piece. And so we can put another sentiment on it. And this one says, seriously grateful for you. And we're gonna grab our little stampin' spot again. And so you always want to stamp before you attach labels or whatever to your card. Do all your stamping first when it's nice and flat. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to stamp your sentiments. So I'm just going to, and again, you can see through. So I kind of just lean over top and then just a straight push down and push up. And then you've got your sentiment. And then we're gonna go ahead and put dimensionals on the back of this to pop it up over top of that ribbon. And then I thought, what a fun, uh, what would be a fun way to add another element to this card just using kind of what comes with. And so I thought, oh, I would like to add flowers, but there were no extra flowers in the kit. So what could I do that would mimic the flowers that came in the kit? So it comes with a couple little extra stamps here. So I took the little flower and let me just, no, let's pick it up like this. And then you can use the extra blushing bride that you have with your card kit, or if you have some blushing bride, you could grab a scrap. And then I just stamped the flower right onto that. And then I just hand cut it out. So I'm not gonna make you watch me hand cut them out. I have three of them ready to go. And then you can use the little um, glue dots that come in the kit, but just for speed's sake, I'm gonna use my roll of glue dots. And then I'm just going to use a glue dot and then add them to my card. And then it's just, I don't know, something a little extra. And then you could go ahead and grab those black matte dots again. And maybe you'll put one in the center of the flowers. Why not? I'm just doing this on the go here. <laughs> that looks cute too. Fun. Fold it in half. And then you've got your second card. So I've got one more, so stick around. Oh, Carol says she uses her stampin' spots when she goes camping. It is such a good idea. If you 
subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Every month you'll get a new color. They try not to repeat within a year. So you'll get a new color and then you can have a little collection or there is, um, you can also buy a set. I can't remember how many are in there, maybe eight with some most popular colors, you know, your reds, your greens, your blues, you'll kind of get a variety of colors and it'll be perfect. So for our last card, I'm gonna use the last um, card sample that we had. So this one is meant to go this way, right? You fold it in half and these beautiful shiny leaves go down. But I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice if they went up? So what can I do to tweak this card? So I'm gonna cut it up again. <laughs> and so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna cut it on the shiny side, four and one eighth. So just an eighth of an inch smaller and then five and three eighths. And then I'm gonna use this, but I want it to be full size to the full size of the card. So I'm gonna cut to four and a quarter. So you're just kind of cutting off the extra little bit there. And then it'll be five and a half um, already. So this way, this piece is gonna be the whole front of my card. So this is old, no, is this Mossy Meadow? What green is this? This is Mossy Meadow, which is a really pretty green. And I'm just gonna cover my whole card base. If I can get it lined up right here. And then I'm going to add this layer on. And the reason I'm doing it this way is so I can get this greenery on the bottom instead of the top of the card. So that's why I've cut it up. And then again, one way to step up your cards is to see if you have anything in these colors, like I mentioned, that would go nicely with this. And I had the Forest Friends Designer Series paper. And you're not going to believe it, but like, the, don't these look exactly the same? The design is like almost identical. It's like it was meant to be. It's meant to be, people. It's so cute. <laughs> so I'm going to add this to my card. It's the same color. It's got mossy meadow in it. An old olive and the greens all go together and it's got that little hint of pink. Um, so it looks so good. So I have cut it to four and one eighth. So it's the same size and then three inches. And then what I'm gonna do is, do you remember when we cut up that Blushing Bride card, we had this strip left over. I'm gonna use it, because it's shiny. It's got that lovely embossed look on it. And so if you were gonna just mimic this with cardstock, it's about a quarter of an inch wide. And then I'm gonna cut it to the four and one eighth. And because it's kind of skinny um, for my seal, you could use glue or you can use glue dots, which is my go-to. I do not like glue sticking to my fingers. And there's that one. And then this just creates a little border kind of between the two pieces of cardstock and makes it look really seamless. And then now the pieces that were supposed to go on this card, we're gonna go ahead and use them, or some of them. So we've got this label piece this time, and then we've got these cute little flowers. And so I'm gonna grab these little flowers. And then this time we're gonna stamp the thank you. So all the stamping I've done is exactly as the original cards were. So let's grab the thank you. here okay so just pull it off pick it up with your black ink it up and I bet we're gonna run out of time soon aren't we what time is it yes so much fun here I did have one more project I was gonna make but we've run out of time so what I'll do is I'll make it and then I'll post a picture of it later. Stay tuned. 
So I'm going to stamp the thank you on here. And then we're going to grab our linen thread again and just cut about a 12 inch piece. So if you just want to add some basics to your stamping supplies, linen thread, the stamping chamois, glue dots, those are kind of all good things to add. I'm going to do my little, it looks like a bow, but it's, I didn't tie it kind of trick. And then I'm going to use a glue dot kind of in the middle. And I'll grab the dimensionals. I've got dimensional backing sticking to me everywhere. One time I was, after I had been in my craft room, I found a stamp and dimensional backing, like this little paper bit in my hair. It's like, <laughs> they're all over the house. They follow me upstairs. that there and then we've got these cute little flowers that you can put anywhere you like and then I thought because these kind of look like flowers now you could even let's see put them on the greenery here Fold it in half. If you've got a bone folder, helps you get a nice crisp edge so your card folds nice. And then we've got our last card. So much fun. Let me pull in all the cards that we made. And man, my desk gets messy so fast when I'm crafting. I'm almost running out of space already. <laughs> so here is the three alternate cards that you can make with this kit. Again, the kit as it comes is so beautiful. You're going to love it. This is a little crooked. I'll have to fix that later. <laughs> um, but if you want to step it up, just find some other colors that coordinate, but add a couple simple pro um, products, whether that's linen thread, some other gems you could go through and see in your collection. What are the gems do I have that match, right? There's the elegant dots, the iridescent gems, which if you don't have them, you need them in your life. Um, these beautiful ones. There's lots of choices just for some basics to add to your crafting supplies. Um, and kits are a lot of fun. And I have one more thing to tell you about kits here in one second. I'm just going to bring the camera back up. Hello, thanks for hanging out. Um, yes, so if you love making these kits, I hope you'll try the kits collection. I hope you'll go on um, to Stampin' Up's website and look through the selection and find one that's just right for you. Um, you could do this with friends. You could like, have some people over and each one of you pick your own kit and you have a little crafting time. Um, if you love having someone else kind of design things for you and you want to try some card making, my August card class is launching on next week. And so if you are not on my email list, please subscribe to my email list. You'll get a free PDF for subscribing and you'll be the first to find out about my classes. So please do that. Um, there's links on all my socials to sign up for my newsletter, or you can go to my website, which might be the easiest, loritamariecrafts.ca. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. A million thanks to you for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. And I will be back next week with some awesome samples, cards with the Harvest, what's it called? Hello Harvest Bundle. So I can't wait to share those with you. So until next time, bye-bye.